So we want Starhorn probably, because we're doing a stupid combo. So we want to get we want to hit Mechantor and Juggernaut, right? Um, what's seven mana? Is unstable Leviathan and Silithar Elder. That's pretty good as well. So we just want any expensive minion that has like cost reduction. Some Kajatas in there. Does that change the cost for Cascading Rebirth? I don't think so. They still can't, right? Mandrakes just turn into Mandrakes, I think. Obviously want this. Cascading Rebirth. Alright, let's just look at what expensive minions we have. And we can cheat out. Playing Warbeast seems pretty good. Get one of those, attack with it. Turn it into a Silithar Elder. That's funny. Um, these guys turn into war beasts once they've taken damage. Elucidator upgrading into Colossus or Lava Slasher doesn't sound very... Or Vision Art doesn't sound very useful. Or this guy. Yeah, that's mediocre. Um... Filter. We'll just scroll through. Uh, so ideally we want something that does something when it enters the the battlefield. Oh, Ash Method, that's funny. That could be really funny with Cascading Rebirth. Hey, how did yesterday go? It went very well. Um, I made it to the top 8 and I lost a close match to Mzilji? Mzil I'm, not, I'm not sure how to say his name. Um, so, having made it through one run of single of them, uh, which is slightly better than the last time, I'm still really I'm happy I made the top eight. Like that's another fifteen qualifier points. Uh, it, I get like a couple of in-game keys, which is nice. Um, but primarily, I'm just really happy that I top eight did two big events in a row. I think that's amazing. All right, let's go with Ash Method. That's hilarious. Is there another effect like this? I don't think so. It's like mass pump effects, I guess. No. Chakram could be funny, actually. Let's see about that guy. Um, Hollow Groove Keeper could be interesting. Foil Hollow Groove Keeper. Keeper of the Veil? That's hilarious. You can cascade and rebirth your Keeper. Nice. Sorry, I can't stick around. I gotta prep for my interview. Yes, go and do that. That is more important than watching me stream. Good luck. Um, Sunset Paragon's good removal. Bone Reaper Eclipse Dust Whaler. You can fly it and then transform it. It's kind of funny. Grime. Oh, Grimes. Because it triggers off the Cascading Rebirth. That's actually hilarious. Let's put some Grimes in. Um, and we want some <laughs> Jax. Jax turning into Celestar Elder. That's great. That's pretty tempting, actually. Um. Zenry Astral Crusader? <laughs> um, are any of these worth... None of these are worth evolving. You just want to use them. Um, Zorel, maybe? I mean, like, Astral Crusader... I'm kind of tempted to see how this works, actually. But then if once you've replaced it and it becomes like a... I don't know, a 10, 9 or something, you just want it, rather than evolving it into a, um, a juggernaut. Okay, so I think we've got our expensive minions. This makes three 5 drops, so one of them will probably survive if we need to play on curve. Um, we can flash it out, we can Kujata, then we just need some support. Uh... Two drops. Because of course we can always do it for value with rebirth minions. So we want some of those, we want some rage binders. Drawing cards is good. Removal is good. Um Chrysalis Burst is more memes. Earth Sphere is good. Yeah, let's go with that. Why not? It'll be funny. This deck looks terrible, but hilarious. Which is like exactly what we wanted, right? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever, let's roll with it. This is going to be real bad, but that doesn't matter. Oh dear. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't put plasma storms in. I need plasma storms. I guess why we have sunset paragons. And turn two chrysalis burst. I might keep. Uh, maybe I can replace these. Looking for cascading rebirth. Hey! Ah, oh, Kujata, that's awesome. I think we want this though, it's more reliable for getting the chrysalis burst off. So we probably actually. Re Do we replace this guy? We might replace this guy. Because our curve is probably going to go this guy into this, into this or this on something that survives the burst. So we don't really need the Kujata. That's there is good in this matchup. That's less good in this matchup. Drawing my opponent cards is generally bad. When they are song high. Oh yeah, I'm in S rank, aren't I? I forgot about this. I actually made S rank the other day. For the first time in ages. Oh. Oh my. Well, the, Chris the Blood Rage Mask is going to be really good with Chakram. We can play Chrysalis Burst and hope none of them spawn near the Sojourner. It's pretty reasonable. I mean, the Sojourner drawing my opponent cards isn't actually a big deal. She's going to draw cards anyway. We're going to draw them cards. Go, go, go! Okay, and kill. That's a Drogon. Damn, I want that one. Lava Slasher. <laughs> Grow. Damn it, the two, the two really good ones are in range of my opponent's stuff, and the two crap ones aren't. Um, if you evolve an egg... Oh no, it's zero mana. That answers that question. Do I just punch the Sojourner now to start clearing it? I think the answer might be yes. Have more cards, you. Uh, I'm going to keep all these, I think. We need a flash for this. Flash Grimes Cascading Rebirth has to be amazing. Six mana get all the value in the world. So it's almost impossible for us not to get a Chakram next turn. Which is sweet because we can play this and get a War Beast out of it. Well, hopefully. 50 50 for War Beast. Which is pretty useful if my opponent plays stuff. Although maybe I'm better saving it for Grimes. Like, we get three minions, including one that's got a 50-50 chance of being a Silithar out of it. Oh my days. Ow. Well, we got a 3-5 out of it. It's not dreadful. Um, so we can activate this for free now, which seems nice. Um, or this. We can obviously kill this. Getting, with my opponent getting no extra value out of it. We can play a Chakram on the Mana Tile, I suppose. I'm going to do this first. Flash, 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 flash. So we can... We can flash Grimes if we leave the Sojourner up. Uh, I don't know if we want to do that. We can do it next turn anyway, I guess. I'll just wait until I can flash Grimes and Cascading Rebirth, I suppose. Um, I'm going to replace this for now because my hand's going to be full of stuff for a while. Ooh, that's a good draw. Does that even work? Oh, she's going to kill it. That doesn't matter. Oh, we mold a spiral! Oof! And an Oryx Bear, that's amazing. Double Grimes! Okay, so we can we can flash Grimes and Rebirth next turn if the Kujata doesn't die, but it will. But then if the Kujata dies, my opponent takes a bunch of damage from like all this stuff. So it's kind of a choice for her between coming up and killing this and running away and deploying the Arcane Heart in a safe, in a safe spot. I guess you can like play one here, come up, kill this body block, or remove the chakram. Ah, she's leaving it. Or Phoenix firing it, I guess. That'd be pretty good. I would like to see this stuck around just so we can go 
go ham with Grimes. Oh wait, if I if I flash Grimes, it immediately dies with Kujate in play. That doesn't even work. That's hilarious. <laughs> What's this? Uh oh. Oh sure. That's fine. Wait, how much mana is that? For me, it's one mana. So we can rebirth this into a two drop if we really want. That's kind of entertaining. Yeah, so if I flash this, it instantly dies. So let's not do that. <laughs> I think I just cast one instead. Um, we can't even kill this. I kind of want to gain life instead. Maybe I should do that. If this hits, like, Calligrapher... Or a taunt? We're in good shape. I think we might be about to die. I'm going to play this because it's mana efficient. Snow Rippler. That's not bad, actually. I'll take a 3-4. Um, I'm just going to keep hold of this hand. Poke this dude. I'm going to bring my Kujate in anyway. Um... I'm going to go here to avoid being backstabbed, but that might be a little greedy. So if my opponent can fill up all the squares around Grimes, she can kill it, but I don't think that's a huge problem right now. She'd have to come up here, play a minion, somehow like play two minions there, and then like Phoenix Fire or something. And that's a lot of effort to go just to kill a Grimes. So we probably will get value out of it. Um, this can escape to here. I guess that's kind of bad because she can like trade with this, kill the token. Oh, she's not going for it. Uh oh, we're going to take a lot of damage now. Well, I guess not really because she's down to only two mana. Yes, punch the Kujata so I can do this. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I want my Silithar Elder. So is this... No, it is listed as 6 mana. So the Kajata cost reduction doesn't apply once the thing is dead. Ooh, boom. Dragonbone Golem? Damn it! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Ugh. That's gross. Well... At least this guy is going to eat this uh, Heartseeker for breakfast. Okay, two options. We can gain some life and play a Rage Binder. Punch this. Or we can run this into my opponent and do the Grimes thing. Um, I'm sort of, I need to find a Warbeast, actually. If I can play a Mechan to Warbeast here, this makes this turn a lot easier. Uh, damn. Wait, I can play this and this and have a minion instead of the Flash. And then I can Cascading Rebirth, I think. No, this guy becomes four mana. It's the same maths either way. I can draw a card, I guess. It's pretty bad drawing my opponent a card here, but I think we need it. Flash my counter, please. Damn. Uh, well, I think we're dead. Uh, let's do this. Play this Kujata. I'm going to cash this guy in. Kill this mana forger. Retreat a bit. And block my opponent in. I can't apparently. Okay. Let's see some big stuff off Grimes now, please. That is, if we don't just die. I guess we're on 23, so we're probably not dead this turn. Um, but we're going to be taking a lot of damage. At least the Blood Rage Mask is probably gone next turn. Um, she can clear this pretty trivially, but this guy is a bit harder to get rid of. <clears throat> And we have the Kujata that can currently reach my opponent. 
Well, let's control that. So she can, like, confuse the grove for ages by playing these. Oh my. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> Combo? Question would be? So the grow is gonna transform back, become a 3-5, and then hit this, right? Okay. So Flash. If we got Ash Mephit this, it has a chance of becoming Macanto Warbeast, which I think we need. Uh, so I think it's a, all about the Mephit. Question is, do we Flash it? I don't think there's any benefit to that. We can place this Chrysalis Burst. Ooh, second Rebirth. Spicy. That's pretty good, actually. We could Flash it, because then if two of the Ash Mephits show up nearby, we get to Rebirth again. Or even just Rebirth this Grow into something that might not die. Alright, come on. That's not awful. This can come down and hit this. Right, Warbeast, please. Oh, does it summon it next to it? That's really interesting. Didn't know that. Hey! Screw you and your stuff. So I can do the same thing with this. I can spawn it here. I'm actually going to save that. Wait, so I can walk up and then... So walk this guy up, rebirth here, and it can reach there if it turns McCan into McCantle? That's nuts. That's actually really spicy. So my opponent's actually obliged to kill this, which is hilarious. Just because it's got a 50-50 chance of actually being a Warbeast, if I have another one of these. Two mana Warbeast is great. So we could, from my opponent, oh my god. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> so I guess that's killing this. But then Grow kills it, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Because we can draw cards for free now. Don't need this guy. Flash. Ooh, Flash grinds again. Um, seems good. We can try and make this guy into a war beast to kill the heart seeker, which doesn't seem worth it. Um, let's flash grimes, shall we? Let me get up close and personal with my opponent here. Owl beast sage. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was ridiculous. I mean, this is fairly likely to just kill me or one of my guys, although at least it doesn't kill these. But if it kills the Heartseeker or hits my opponent in the face, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that was great. Also, we drew a War Beast, which is an actual card. Also, my opponent can't really escape here. Like, she can't get past this particularly easily. I guess you could, like, juxtaposition it with this or something. Or, like, the Heartseeker. Well, doing that does nothing. This is quite nice. We've blocked my opponent in fairly well. So I didn't think about Cascading Rebirth having that extra element of reach. I didn't. I thought it was on the same spot as the, as the unit. But I guess that would be dreadful with, like, Dying Wish-type minions. Like Grimes. Oh, not Grimes, but... Um, I don't know, what dies into something on the same spot? Like, Stolen Reapers of the Nine Moons. Yep. <clears throat> That's fine. It's still body blocks. We can still thumping wave it. I tapped three of my opponent's mana. Oh, baby. That's scary. Wait, why is that only one mana? Oh, no, it's not. It's one turn. NDS? Sure. Ow. So, do we win? Um. So, two, four, nine with this. Um. Yeah, we actually win. <laughs>
<laughs> Behold the RNG fest and its first victory. That was really fun. Um, let's try that again. <laughs>